and welcome to video number seven. In this specific video, you're gonna learn how to take all of the initial pages that you have created and upload them to your website. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna download FileZilla, which is a free FTP program that allows you to upload files to your website. And we're gonna upload those pages and then we're gonna test them out to make sure that it works. So with that said, let's go ahead and do it. So in order to upload your files through FTP to your website, you're going to need to have a program called a file transfer program. And there's a free program called FileZilla. And simply go here and click download FileZilla client. And this is also compatible with Windows Macintoshes and Linux. So Windows, Mac, and Linux. So go ahead and download the program that is compatible to your operating system. Go ahead and install it because we're going to be using it in this specific video. So if you need to pause it now, go ahead and do that. Okay, so now that you have installed that program, what we need to do is to simply upload these files to the location that we specified. Now, in order to upload, you're going to need to have access to your web hosting username and password. So this is FileZilla right here. And the host is going to be ftp.yourdomain.com. Then enter your username and the password that the web hosting company gives you. And what I like about FileZilla is if once you connect, you can actually connect to your previous history here by clicking this drop down menu. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is simply connect to my website. All right, so I'm going to locate my public underscore HTML folder. Some of you will have HTTP docs or a different folder. This is basically the folder that you need to upload your files to. Now in this case, because I use the website, and I have a lot of subfolders already, I'm going to be installing this product sales page under a specific subfolder. So what I need to do now is to simply upload the files here. For most of you, you'll be uploading your files to this folder here. But for me, because I'm actually creating a subfolder, I'm going to right click, click on create directory, and simply call that graphics 101 because remember I saved it to the check this out right now dot net slash graphics 101 that's where my sales page is going to be so I'm going to click on OK and go into that folder and at this point all I need to do is simply drag and drop this into here so it's a drag and drop, which means simply drag and drop. So highlight this, copy this over to here, and drop it. And just wait till it is uploaded. I'm going to go ahead and pause this video as it does this, and unpause it in just a few seconds. Okay, so now we've uploaded all the files. What we can do now is to simply test it and to make sure that it worked. And to do that, all we need to do is go back to our browser and at the very top here, simply enter the URL here. And good, so we, we see that we have the sales page here. And when we click on this link here, We notice that it goes back to JVZoo, but since our product is not live yet, it cannot be sold. So we can at least see that it does work. Now, what I want to do now is to go to this thank you page here to make sure that the thank you page is working. And if I click on this, I can see that it is downloading the file and this is something that I always do. I like to go through and just to make sure that everything is being 
able to download so that I don't get any errors or anything like that. And if there's a if there's a mistake or anything like that, then people are going to come back to you. You're going to get a lot of emails. You're going to get a lot of support tickets, and you don't want that. So make sure that you test everything to make sure that it works. So what I can do is if I go back to the thank you page here in order to make this buy button work if I go back to JVZoo here and go to sellers dashboard click on the product click on edit and now what I can do is click on yes allow sales so that activates the product click on save product and now if I refresh the page and simply click on here as we can see we are forwarded to the JVZoo payment page and there we go so everything works successfully and in the next video I'm going to talk about sales funnels and then after that we're going to talk about setting up JVs and then of course last but not least the affiliate program